You guys, what is going on? My name is Mr. Ganelof, and in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to build the ice staff and also how to upgrade the ice staff. Um, it's a it's a few sh simple um, steps to do this. It's not that hard. And I right, guess so the first thing that you want to do is, um, as you start out in Origins, you of course want to grab a shovel. Um, there's two locations in the start. Two people can grab them. There's one over there, where I, uh, in the location where I just grabbed it, and then there's one over by the generator three door. Where I do. Okay guys, so the next thing that you, that you want to do is, um, after you get the shovel, you want to head over to Gen 2, and in this little area, this trench area, there's going to be three locations for the ice staff disc. Um, I just showed you one, and then there's going to be one over here, on the shelf right here. Significance to this and that's where I grab mine. And then the last location is right here on this shelf, where I just shot. And yeah. Alright guys, so the next step, and this is the actually the uh, this is the step to actually build the ice staff. And what you want to do is, once the weather changes to snow, once it starts snowing, you want to head around the entire map um, in each area by in the middle, and then the church, and then uh, Gen two and three. And what you want to do is, at, with your shovel, you want to find dig spots while it's snowing and dig up dig spots until you find the ice staff pieces. And um, as you can see in these clips, you can see. Um, I just dig up random dig spots and get random stuff, but you just want to wait until you get the ice staff pieces. Part of a staff. No one's walking away from that blast. A fragment of a staff. Alright guys, so the next thing that you want to do after you get all three pieces of the ice staff, you want to head down to the ice staff tunnel, which is over by the church. Uh, place down the gramophone, make sure you have the disc, of course. Um, let, let the portal build, like so. Go through the portal. And once you go through the portal, all you want to do is run up to the pedestal, the ice staff pedestal. Wait till the stone floats up, grab the stone, and then return back. Alright guys, so after you grab the stone, what you want to do is go down to the bottom of the excavation site, and you can see four pedestals of the staves. All you want to do is walk up to the ice staff pedestal, simply build the staff. And once it's built, you simply grab the staff. Once you grab it, on to the next step to upgrade it. That's how you build it. <laughs> Alright, so what you want to do next is after you grab the staff to upgrade the staff, you want to simply go back to the ice staff tunnel, head to the portal, go through the tunnel, head through the portal, um, and then once you're on the ice staff area in the crazy place, you will see these symbols on this wall right here, and all you want to do is, as you look at the symbol, you will look back up at the ceiling, at the, the stones, um, and you will simply just shoot depending on, you will shoot the symbol depending on the the symbol on the wall and I'm actually going to be showing a picture pretty soon here of all the different possibilities and symbols that may pop up for you so Alright guys, so the next step for this upgrade process is what you want to do um, after you're shooting your symbols on the ceiling. You want to find these three different tombstones around the map. And what you want to do first with your ice staff is shoot the tombstone with your ice staff. It'll be leaking water, and then once you shoot it, it'll obviously freeze it, and then you shoot it with a, um, a regular weapon with bullets. It won't work with the Ray Gun Mark 1 or 2, unfortunately. 
Uh, there's two locations over by Gen 4, and then there's one location over by Gen 2, and this is the first way that I, uh, this is the way I, that I usually shoot it, uh, to save me some time, and it's kind of far away, you kind of have to look like that, and then you'll shoot it, and then you can shoot it like that, or you can simply just jump down if you prefer it this way, um, head over down this way, past Gen 2, head up the stairs, and then from right here, you can shoot the tombstone, freeze it, and then shoot it with the regular weapon, and you'll hear the activation noise. Alright guys, so now on to the last and final step for upgrading the ice staff. And what you want to do is head down to the excavation site, and you'll see these four um, handles, I guess you can call it, um, around the bottom of the excavation site. And what you want to do is pull each lever until it, line, it lines up blue. Um, meaning, you know, uh, the eye staff, obviously. And as you can see, I have all four of them blue. I'm going to show you where all four locations are for each lever. And then once you line up all four blue, you want to shoot the orb. And then once you shoot the orb, the orb will go up into the sky. And then you can move on to the last step to upgrading the eye staff. Okay guys, so the next thing that you want to do is after you line up the orb and you shoot your orb with the eye staff, you want to go back to the crazy place through the tunnel, through the portal, place the eye staff in its desired desired um, pedestal in the crazy place and all you want to do is kill zombies around the pedestal. I think it takes up to 20 to 30 souls from the zombies and you'll know when it's finished because uh, I think it will pop up on your screen telling you that it finished and Samantha will, will also tell you, you know, like, the power of the ice app is now yours or something like that um, as you can see on the screen and all you want to do now is simply grab the pack of punch or upgraded ice staff I guess you can call it and you, yeah guys you're good to go that's how you build and upgrade the ice staff um, if you did enjoy the video make sure you drop a like please drop a, a sub or subscribe to my channel if you wouldn't mind guys I'm gonna be making all the other tutorials on how to upgrade the stabs and build them how to build upgrade them <laughs> but yeah guys that's pretty much it please stay tuned for more videos and live streams go follow me on my social media all my social media is the same as my YouTube name and guys thank you for watching I will catch you on the next video see you guys